if you work hard at something and you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything that you want to. Really? I don't think so. I'm reminded of the line from the Dirty Harry movie, Magnum Force, where Clint Eastwood says at the end, A man's got to know his limitations. And that's right. We need to know our limitations. Let me use my own story as an example. When I was a young man, I had trouble sleeping at night. I was filled with anxiety and prone to depression. It should have been a clue that I had some limitations, but I was a young man and I didn't know any better. I got through high school and college, and I got a job in Insight Sales. That's a glorified name for store clerk. Now don't get me wrong, I think everyone should have a service job at least once in their life. It teaches you how to be nice to people, whether you like it or not. I stayed in this job a little bit too long due to my insecurities. You are, after all, a replaceable cog in a corporate machine, and there's not a lot you can do about it. However, I did eventually land a job in purchasing. Oh boy, a real corporate job where you could be promoted and stuff. My dreams of climbing the corporate ladder were short-lived. Other people seemed to manage this job just fine, but I was stressed out of my mind. In purchasing, you're pulled in different directions, you're interrupted all the time, there's conflict, and the whole hamster wheel aspect of constantly chasing the next deadline. I stuck it out for four years. I took classes in purchasing and accounting, and I learned negotiation so that I would be better at this job. But after one really horrible, miserable day, I went out that night with my friends and they said, Wow, Craig, it looks like a great weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. What happened? And I said, I got laid off. Well, that was it for me in purchasing. But where to from there? You see, that's the problem with not knowing your limitations. You don't have the big picture. You don't know your strengths either. I was adrift. I drove a coffee truck for a while. I sold knives door to door. Not my most shining moment. But eventually my father retired from his corporate job and decided he wanted to build houses. So I joined him. And I went from a white collar job to a blue collar. To me, this felt like a bit of a downgrade. But it turns out it was a good gig. In construction, I wasn't interrupted all the time, I wasn't pulled in different directions, and what I really liked was that the job has a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's a sense of completion. After my father ran out of work, I went to work for a contractor. I studied up on construction practices and I got my license so that when he ran out of work, I was prepared. And by this time, I understood something about my limitations. I became a handyman for two reasons. One, I had no boss, and two, I had no employees. But I still didn't understand why this job, being a handyman, was so much easier for me than purchasing. If you look at the jobs objectively, purchasing is an easier, more repetitive job. However, a few years later, I was perusing the internet, that font of all human knowledge, and I ran across a list of 10 traits of highly sensitive people. And that got my attention because I matched all 10 traits exactly. And now I had some answers. Highly sensitive people typically have trouble sleeping at night, they get filled with anxiety and prone to depression, and they also tend not to do well in corporate environments because they can't deal with all the stress. When I'd had a chance to absorb this information, something wonderful happened. I realized that I was never going to be that hard-charging, go-getting, ambitious kind of guy I thought I should be. And with that, I no longer had an image of myself that I could not live up to. I don't regret not climbing the corporate ladder. I sucked at it and it stressed me out. I'm just glad to know what's going on. A 
man's got to know his limitations. But these limitations are not chains around our ankles dragging us down. They're guideposts showing us the way to our personal success and happiness.